Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. Hi and welcome back. My name is Richard Rice. I'm the PGA Director of Instruction at Colonial Heritage Golf Club. In this video, we're going to talk about the address position and how you can achieve the right one in every golf swing. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. Right, so address is really referring to a number of things. You know, we've got posture, we've got alignment, we've got ball position, we've got distance to the ball. Our main focus today is going to be posture, but before we get into that, I really wanna talk just a quick note on alignment. The common mistake I see is that players aim their bodies and their clubs both at the target. And what this really does is it messes with your swing direction. So commonly, you know, the average player is going to swing back across their body towards the target and they're going to end up hitting slices or, or over fades. You know, the better players might drop that club underneath and swing out to the right and hit blocks and hooks. So let's just make sure we're on the same page here we're going to set up just like this parallel lines club face and body let's keep it nice and simple all right so posture why is it so important posture is important because it really creates the foundation to our golf swing one of the most fundamental things that i teach in the golf swing is rotation and i like to set people into a posture that helps them rotate easier so what we need to understand is that the hips should be the turntable of our golf swing. We want lots of hip turn back and through, and that's going to create some effortless power in your swing, but it's also going to save you from injury. So when we set into a posture, what we're really looking for is a posture that allows us to increase that hip turn. Now let's first talk about a posture that would actually decrease my hip turn. So I see this very commonly, and what it is, is that people sink back into their hips like this, into a flexed hip position. Now this would be flexed, this would be extended. So this flexed position creates strain on the ball and socket joints, and it makes them very tight. Now when I'm back here in this flexed position, it becomes very hard to turn around these ball and socket joints. So I challenge you to look at the PGA Tour players. Most of them, almost all of them, have a more extended lower body, in other words, flexed, extended, and they're putting some of that curve into the upper body, okay? So when I extend my lower body, in other words, I keep my hips more underneath me, it really frees up the, the motion of my ball and socket joints in my hips. You know, I challenge you stand straight up and down and start to make some rotations. I bet you almost all of you can get to a 90 degree shoulder turn, but as soon as we put you in your setup position, all of a sudden you feel restricted and you can't turn as well. Most of that's coming from this setup position here. So unlock the knees, keep the belt line level to the horizon, and we're gonna start to point the chest down towards the ground. We're going to keep going down and down and down until the armpits start to hang pretty much over the balls of the feet. In other words, I don't want you way out over your toes. I also don't want you standing up way too tall. So from here, we're in a posture that's going to, number one, free up our range of motion. Number two, feel easy to maintain. In other words, I want to be able to maintain this posture all the way back and through impact, and then I can extend up out. All right, so let's run through that checklist one more time. Stand up tall in good posture. Unlock your knees, keep your belt line leveled to the horizon, and start to point the chest down to the ground until the armpits get over the balls of the feet. From there, the arms should hang naturally from the shoulder sockets. I don't like to see players reaching out much. This is again going to create the need to make more manipulation. So we've got those arms hanging under the shoulders. And from there, I like to teach people to address the ball with your feet. In other words, move your feet to get into position. Do not reach and then try to come back into position. So 
Good posture, unlock the knees, belt line level, chest down, arms hang, walk the feet into the ball. Work hard on this posture. Get in the mirror and do it at home and, and just understand that this is one of the most basic building blocks to your golf swing. And without good posture, we're gonna struggle to create good motion. So hopefully these tips today helped you. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh,